Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be using FFmpeg to extract an audio track from a video, and then I'm going to take that into Audacity and I'll make some changes to it, and then I'll put it back in the video. I'll merge it back together. And I'll be using the map functionality of FFmpeg. So I'll put a link in the description to the commands I'm using on my website so you don't have to copy them from the screen. I'll also have a link to my FFmpeg notes where you can find installation instructions, and I'll also include a list to my FFmpeg playlist where you can find my other FFmpeg projects. So I have my terminal open here, and I have a video called Noisy Audio. So I'll type ffprobe noisy underscore audio dot move. I'll hit enter. And move is kind of a Mac thing, but it's similar to an MP4. So here we see a couple different streams. We have the video stream, we have the audio stream, and then there's a metadata stream. So I want to remove this audio. So I'll clear my screen. I'll type ffmpeg space dash i space and then noisy underscore audio dot move so that sets that as the input file and I want to type dash vn and that says don't include the video and then I want to say noisy audio dot wave so that's all you need to do to create a wave file so I'll clear this type ls space dash lh noisy star so we have the original video here and then we have the audio and wave format so now I can go to audacity I'll create a new file here, okay, and I'll drag the WAV file over. Okay, so it's saying I can make a copy of this or I can read directly from the file, so I'll just read directly. So I have it here, I'll play this. Okay, so this isn't playing right now because I have something plugged into my headphone jack. I do have a Bluetooth speaker hooked up. I don't know why it's not playing through that, but you just have to trust me that this is audio. So my original intent was to take the audio out and use a denoising filter on it to clean it up a little bit, but it, you can't hear it very well, the difference. So instead I'm just going to do reverberate, but it's the same idea. So I'll go to effect here and I'll go to reverb and I'll just say okay. So that set the reverberation on there. I'll go up here to file and I'll say export as wave. and I'll say underscore reverb at the very end of that. I'll save that on the desktop with my other files. Okay, so now we have the original wave here. Okay, so when I last was here, it was Friday. Okay, and now I have the reverb one. Okay, so when I last was here, it was Friday morning. And so you can hear that's kind of echoey. So now let's say I want to merge the original file with this reverb version. So I'll clear my screen, I'll type FF probe, and then noisy underscore audio dot move. So we see our two tracks here. So I want to type FFmpeg space dash I space noisy audio dot move, and then space dash I, and then noisy audio underscore reverb dot wave. So now we have two input files. We have noisyaudio.move and noisyaudioreverb.wave. So I can take care of the video real quick. I'll just type dash v codec space copy. So this will just copy the video from the original file without re-encoding it. Next we'll type space dash map space. And now we want the index of the input. So we have two files here and it starts counting at zero. So we want this first video file. So we want to type zero and then colon and we want the video track, so we'll say V, we'll say colon again, and we want to say which video track we want. So if we look up here, we have zero. This is the first track, it's zero. So I'll put a link in the description to the documentation page on map because there's lots of different things you can do with it. Right now we're separating out video and selecting the stream, but you could just say you want the third stream if it's video or audio. Next I'll type space, and I'll type dash map, space and I'll open up another terminal here so here we can see the audio stream is zero zero so I can go back here so I want to say map I want to say one because we have zero input one input colon a because this is audio and then we want track zero so that's currently a WAV file, so we want to encode that. So I'll say space dash a codec space AAC. 
So this should work if you're on recent versions of FFmpeg. If you're on older versions, you may need to encode this as a different audio format or a different AAC encoder. Then I'll type the output file name. So I'll say noisy audio underscore reverb dot mp4. I'll hit enter. So it copies the video, but it has to encode the audio. And it happened really quick because it's a short clip. So now if I open up this mp4 and play it, We'll hear the reverb. Okay, so when I last was here, it was Friday morning, and now it's Sunday evening. So I have my kilowatt here. So this is just a basic example of how you can map audio and video files together and you know organize them to create new videos. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.